Getting to know the reason for an illness can be daunting, not to mention the medications prescribed and possible lifestyle changes. The reason for today's video is to clear up questions regarding pentoprazole. This drug is being prescribed because the acid from the stomach is causing damage. Places that could potentially be harmed would be the esophagus, lining of the stomach, or intestine. The damage from acid can also be referred to as ulcers. Pentoprazole is also used to combat bleeding due to ulcers. It can be given as a tablet to be swallowed without being crushed or through an IV. The way it works, it is a proton pump inhibitor, which means that pantoprazole works in the stomach by inhibiting the enzyme responsible for the final step of acid production in the stomach. Think of the gears in a clock. If you plug one of those gears, the clock stops. In the same way that mechanism of the time is interrupted, the interruption of the acid production stops the acid from causing any further damage, allowing the body to heal itself. It is usually used for short term, meaning that usually it is used for less than six months, as people see an improvement in their condition. There will be a noted improvement of signs and symptoms. There are follow-up blood tests collected to monitor the healing in the body. Dependent upon how much damage there was to the body, the frequency of blood tests can vary. Do not take pantoprazole if you are under 18 years of age, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Before beginning pantoprazole, check with your doctor if you are using any of the following medications. Rilpamivirine will cause the pantoprazole not to be effective, and it may make you more susceptible to colds and flus. Adazanavir or nelfinavir will change the consistency of the blood, decreasing in serum levels. Resegenate can potentially cause toxic levels in the body to rise. Tyrosine kinase inhibitors change the effectiveness of the medication, and warfarin increases a risk of bleeding. Common side effects include headache, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, flatulence, dizziness, and joint pain. When administered through IV, there may be a reaction at the site, constipation, insomnia, and a runny nose. The long-term side effects are a decrease in B12 absorption. Please contact an emergency personnel immediately should you note the following adverse effects. Blistering, increased thirst or increased urinary frequency or quantity, problems breathing, discolorations of the skin, swelling or distortion of muscle, rash, bone weakness, distension of the abdomen, clotting, and slow blood clotting. Should you have any other reactions not listed here, please contact your doctor. Health strategies would complement drug therapy are long-term lifestyle modifications, losing weight if overweight, and wearing clothing that is loose around the waist or abdomen, eating small frequent meals, and remaining upright after eating, sleeping with the head of the bed raised, taking medications with a full glass of water, avoiding high-fat foods such as chocolate, peppermint, alcohol, and caffeine, and to stop smoking.